Being the number one in the world comes with a lot of pros and cons. The whole world has an eye on you. People look up to you and watch your steps. This is the case with Iga Sviantek. Today, we'll take a look at how the current number one spends her day, her routine, and how she prepares for games. Make sure to stick to the end. Iga Sviantek may be world number one, but she has to start her day with breakfast, then lunch, and dinner just like every other human being, so let's take a look at what she likes to eat. Nutritionists may not see pancakes as the breakfast of champions, but Sviantek generally likes to start her day with pancakes. The young champ once started a huge winning season in Australia with pancakes as her diet, the lucky charm diet of a Grand Slam champion as some like to phrase it. Though Iga loves pancakes, she admitted once that she was terrible at baking or cooking. She insisted that she tries to change the recipe all the time to make the food healthier by using less sugar and less flour, and because of that, the food usually comes out terrible. She also confessed that her dad isn't one to waste food, but whenever she bakes something, he throws it out because it usually is really bad. Well, who needs cooking skills when you can just be world number one instead? Sometimes she likes lettuce and broccoli, cucumber, cottage cheese, and some seeds for lunch, but usually after, she might have had a midday snack with a tropical smoothie to go with it, which she calls the best thing ever. Iga's pre-match meal is usually rice and chicken. She opts for that combo because what she eats has to be light in order to allow her to perform her best during a game. Now that we know what Iga Sviantek likes to eat, I'm sure she doesn't just sit down and eat every day. She has to keep in shape to keep doing well. How does she do that? Let's check that out. Iga Sviantek once revealed that she puts in a lot of hard work when working out and training. She likes to train alongside her physiotherapist, Mache Rizguk. She does dumbbell lunges and other routines as well. When she isn't training with her physiotherapist, she is having sessions with her psychologist, Daria Abramowitz, who apparently Iga seems to be really fond of. Daria has been a constant presence at the youngsters game since 2019 and is usually on the court during her practice, just watching and trying to peer into the pole's mind. Their sessions last for hours, with them discussing the youngsters' fears and dreams. They also work to improve Iga's relationships with people, relatives, and friends. Sometimes during practice, the youngster wears medical devices that measure her stress level by monitoring her brain and heart activity. She admitted many times that Daria helps her a lot. In an interview, she revealed that she believes mental toughness is the most important thing in tennis currently. She also felt everybody could play at the highest level, but the tough ones who could handle pressure were the biggest ones, and she always wanted to develop in such a manner. Thanks to Daria, Iga Sviantek has grown to be more mature and more thoughtful about a lot of things off and on the court. The youngster has credited her psychologist several times for making her a more confident player. Iga Sviantek also spends part of the day with her cat whenever she's not practicing or training. She once disclosed in an interview that she takes timeouts during her practice sessions to spend some time with her cat named Grappa. Iga's former coach, Piotr Suspukowski, previously explained in an interview that the youngster wasn't that big on practice. He explained that she liked to focus more on the basics than making technical adjustments in her game. He said, she never really likes to practice. It's so boring for her. But when it comes to the big games, she's there and she loves to compete. Having that kind of mentality and attitude towards the game isn't for everyone, but it is obviously working for the Polish. Just like every other tennis star, she is also said to have some pre-match rituals that she does. The world number one once talked about her pre-match routines in an interview. She revealed that night matches were usually difficult for her because she needed to keep herself focused for the entire day. She tries to avoid doing stuff that might make her tired, so she plays with Legos or takes walks or naps. Iga revealed that Lego works perfectly for her mind because she likes to think logically. It's great, it's really good fun, so everybody should try Legos, she recalled. Her psychologist suggested it to her once, and she has loved it ever since. She also explained that taking naps before games helps to clear her mind. The Pole likes to listen to some music as well before her games as she claimed that it helps to prepare her mentally. 
Her favorite artists are Coldplay, ACDC, Pink Floyd, Pearl Jam, Red Hot Chili Peppers, and Santana. According to her, her coaches would always listen to these guys when she was going to tournaments. It just kind of stuck with her, and since then, it's been part of her routine. She also once explained that Welcome to the Jungle by Guns N' Roses helps her keep her routines during practice before any game. Whenever Iga Sviantek isn't training in the gym or preparing for her matches, she has other interests she likes to indulge in, just like every other person. Among other things she does, the current number one plays guitar. It's always interesting to find out about the interests and hobbies of tennis players outside tennis. Iga Sviantek apparently likes to play guitar. In a recent video, she was seen playing an electric guitar and also trying to understand the complex details of it. It looks like the youngster is a perfectionist off and on the court. She was just like a pro, although she did go offbeat once, she quickly bounced back. After playing, she seemed to talk about some errors she had made, and one thing's for sure is that she obviously doesn't take this hobby lightly. The world number one once revealed that she likes to relax and watch TV series sometimes when she's less busy. She once stated that her favorite series was Mad Men. She said, This series has a calm retro ether as it happens in the 60s, but at the same time it portrays the early stages of advertising in the US in an engaging way. It's important for me that I can learn something motivating from a series, and this one shows many instruments and ideas, which are obvious for us, but were something brand new at the time. Aside from watching TV, the sports star also likes to read books whenever she can. She once revealed that she likes to read historical novels, and she really likes crime novels as well. According to the sports star, Dan Brown is one of her favorite authors, and one book she really enjoyed and would certainly recommend is Cathedral of the Sea by Ildefonso Falcones. Iga has been described as one of the reflective players at press conferences of major tournaments. Some have attributed it to her passion for reading, but we cannot be certain for sure. She once revealed a post-match press conference that she was probably emotional in a match because she had just finished reading Margaret Mitchell's Gone with the Wind a night before the game. She explained that she read the 1,000-page Pulitzer Award-winning book in three weeks and cried after. Iga went on to reveal that she always liked to read books when she was little. She would sometimes read books until 2 a.m. while her mates were partying or doing other fun stuff. What do you find surprising about Iga Sviantek's lifestyle? Comment below.